I've been the director and curator of um, a number of spaces over a 35 year period, um, starting with the performance space beginning of the 80s, um, from there moving on to directorship of the Institute of Modern Art in Brisbane, and from there back to Art Space, which is located in this building in the gunnery, and then to uh, Artistic Director of Kasula Powerhouse. Um, and for the last five years, I have been the um, Director of um, uh, the Sydney um, College of the Arts Gallery and curator of the, of the gallery projects there and teaching curatorial subjects. Curating today is a very complex term. It's um, on one hand it's becoming very sophisticated and then on another hand it's becoming an anything goes situation where uh, everybody can be a curator and this presents uh, a number of problems uh, but at the same time it democratises the idea of curating but what curating fundamentally means to me is that uh, and I speak very specifically within the contemporary art realm is that uh, curating is about uh, setting up an argument, it's propositional, it's uh, creating a set of problems in relation to uh, how uh, we construct contemporary art, what it means, its relationship to society, its relationship to history, and certainly its theoretical implications. Now, uh, that basically means that um, uh, curatorialism is a, uh, an inventive um, proposition, that it, it creates a context by which we realise and the viewing and perception of art, and it gives us a handle by which we can um, think about contemporary art particularly what it means and how it uh, locates itself in the debates of contemporary art today. It's important for curatorial processes to uh, examine the role and contribution of the artist. I think the artist is central to the debate of cura uh, curatorialism. But I also think sort of like, like in problematising what artists do and I put problem use the word problematizing very carefully as a as positive encounter rather than a negative idea that problematizing the work that gets produced and putting it in the in the context of things that happen uh, in and around the contemporary art production, its international contexts, uh, its uh, social implications, and particularly its relationship to audiences and, and communities. So the idea, idea of, um, of how we, we look at what artists see and how they make work becomes very important because it's not made in a neutral vacuum uh, and it's not made ahistorically. There's a, a line of thinking that sort of like connects most things in contemporary art that allows us to follow a logic or a, a set of signs or a way of thinking and perceiving contemporary art and uh, in a way uh, on one hand curators not only facilitate that process but quite clearly articulate a means by which you engage those processes and so it becomes much more than facilitation it becomes uh, a way of reading and a way of, um, of uh, thinking about the contemporary. The responsibilities of the contemporary uh, curator today is to 
be wholly aware of the shifts, the paradigm shifts of contemporary art. And if we think about the vastness of, of, um, of the making of the contemporary, and not just in art, but in social justice systems, in technology shifts, in uh, uh, government processes, in um, migration, in, in, in all the different ways with which we inhabit this world, uh, I think the responsibilities of a curator is to be aware. It's, it's to sort of like, like feel the air, feel the, the, the idea of shifts and changes that exists in that, that ether. And in that sense, what becomes important for curators is not to stand outside of society, but to be within society. Not to stand outside the social processes, but to engage them directly. And I think if we look at a lot of the um, contemporary uh, uh, art practices today, that idea of social engagement, it, its political consequences, it's re those, the relationship of those politics to art are a vital way of actually thinking what art means. And it's not from, as I said, a neutral process or from outside, it's from within. And if you subscribe to that withinness, that means you can't stand outside the actual making. You're implicitly involved in every level of production. So it's not sort of like saying to artists, hey, we've got an exhibition starting on August the 7th, I'd like you to be involved in, with and just please bring your work. It's actually sort of like, like critically engaging that process using sort of like, like the shifts and changes of theory and culture and social processes to constantly inform and reinform uh, uh, the making. And somehow, you know, like I think a lot of contemporary curating lends itself to some sort of collaborative process that it has the implications of collaborative Whilst it may not be sharing the making, it's actually sharing what informs the making. And, and I think that's when you get provocative interventionist curating, that, uh, that it's an implicit part of the making and that artists and curators work together in the exhibition process. And so it's, it's, of course, that requires organisation. Of course, it relies on, on administrations and institutionality to, to a large extent. But the reality is that sense of making is today, I think, an implicit framing uh, condition of curating. My curatorial methodology has uh, goes back to what I was commenting a moment ago, that, that it's actually sort of like, like uh, 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 starts that sense of invention in a partnership with the artist, that you, you're actually involved with the artist throughout the, the entire process, that, that it's, it's a, a, a case where uh, you engage the artists. You 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 um, you think through. You know what cert not all artists are, are, um, are suitable to your projects, or that not all artists are um, uh, are going to uh, have what it takes to even engage that sort of, that that uh, a kind of collaborative process that that. Uh, a lot of artists, you know, want to be what privilege the studio. They privilege, you know, the private making process, and I guess it's about sort of like understanding it with a degree of sensitivity, how you engage artists, and 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 how do you put a proposition forward? How does that sort of precariousness that of of new knowledge? Sort of invade the, the the idea of making because you don't want to sort of like like do project that simply recount uh, 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 history. It's not an affirmation of history. It's actually a critical engagement with the future. It's about actually 
making of history. Uh, and so with a lot of contemporary curating, uh, the debate goes on that idea of construction, that idea of, of inventing the future and working closely with artists as a, as a, as a partnership in the, making, in the making of that future. I think time is absolutely crucial for curators and that, that most curators wor are working constantly on multiple projects that they're working on on multiple ideas and you know if if uh, uh, you're thinking that from the conception of the idea sometimes it's like a two-year project and you know the biennale is a biennale model although i have a a lot of criticism of, of its usefulness the biennale model is is self-evident of that 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 you know uh, curators are engaged uh, they make a set a set of propositions uh, that they then start uh, like a, uh, a search for artists that they want to work with that reflect those ideas that reflect that that set of of engagements and that's usually a two-year process and um, that that issue of time where where um, you know that 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 allows for that engagement with that artist that allows for shifts and one of the things I've noticed that over the years of working uh, like that is that sometimes the the project that I started with is not necessarily the project that I ended up with because it is a two-way process that that it's not just a hierarchical way of of thinking about that the curator is all empowered and authorized that the that the curator also sort of like 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 works with those shifts that happen and is accountable to those shifts that happen in uh, during during the process and sometimes you realize part way through that that the ideas that you were working w with needed further refinement and that may come from something that the artist did that forces you to apprehend uh, and and revisit your 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 thesis forces you to rethink the the idea of of the proposition itself and Quite frankly, you know, sort of like I, I think that artists are not always geniuses. I also think that curators are not always geniuses. They're not always right. They are not sort of like, like you know, authorial figures uh, that, that uh, are, um, uh, are, are not accountable to, to the process. And I think good curating flexes with 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 that that uh, those shifts and changes that that sometimes you do have to sort of arrive at a point to say well hang on it was a great idea to begin with and and that idea I think is problematic and you have to reframe it you have to shift your your perspective and your perception and if you don't don't it it sort of like suggests you know something from a more historical perspective of, of how curators work, that curators were always empowered, that they always had the authority, that, that they could not be challenged. And I think today that the more interesting curating is where, where, where all, the, one, all, all the aspects and condition of art are constantly up for grabs, that they are constantly being renegotiated, that they're constantly being revisited. And it makes the act of not only making and process, but the act of curating a, a dynamic activity, that it's not static. Because if it was static, why curate it in the first place? If you've got an idea that that, that you think is, is totally uh, perfect and totally closed, why bother doing it? You've already thought it, you've already, it kind of exists. So, so the, the idea is that curating becomes itself uh, 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 
uh, a dynamic engagement. It sort of like responds to the minutiae of shifts and changes. If we look at sort of like, like in contemporary arts, I would probably argue that that curating is the, is the fastest growing area of the contemporary. Virtually every, every university in Australia has got uh, uh, is teaching curating uh, every, uh, on a global level, in international level, the schools are exploding with, with uh, curating sort of like programs. And I think that that um, if you look at the contemporary publishing field in art, you know, you now can't go into a bookshop where there's another new publication. Uh, and if you go onto the web, web the web proliferates with, with, with um, uh, sites that deal with, with, with curating. So I think sort of curating is, is, is a growth area. It's, it's one that is, is starting to, um, to claim its ground and to claim a certain authority and to, to, to state itself. And the, the, the more that we, we see that, I think sort of like, like uh, um, uh, we're producing a um, uh, uh, pouring out of the, these institutions, we're producing sort of like, like curators who are probably more informed than ever before. They've, they've not only sort of like studied art history, but they've been involved directly and indirectly with contemporary processes. They've traveled more than ever before. They've seen more biennales, they've seen uh, contemporary art space. They may have grown up through the artist run, run field. So, so we're looking at, at a, a far more sophisticated figure in the curator, but, but uh, 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 one that I think is constantly uh, uh, blurred as well.